Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching. If you want to know how I achieve this eye look and want to know how to create this one, then keep on watching. First up, I'm going to prime my face using a perfect selfie primer oil. Again, a wonderful primer oil, one of a different kind of primer into my primer collection. But I must say, it really gives you that tighten effect on the skin. Before doing any further priming, I love to put this all over my face nowadays. It really sets in well and sinks in well without drying out your skin. So just take a little bit and massage it all over your skin. You really don't have to massage, you can gently dab it all over your skin. Moving on to primer i'm using the maybelline master prime face studio absolute love this is like i think my last bit of primer i'm using on my face i'm done with it and it's no more available again a wonderful primer which really gives you a nice sticky base for your other products to set in well Moving on to some color correcting so i'm using this face forward stick by sugar in orange Again, a shade which I don't feel is right for my skin, but I still use it and it still gives me a nice cancelling out of my upper lip hair. So yes, I just use it around my mouth area to cancel out my upper lip hair. Moving on to foundation, absolute favorite foundation by Nykaa Anti-Pollution Skin Shield Foundation. Today I'm using a newer shade. Uh, my actual shade is 11. But I went ahead and bought 10 because I felt uh, maybe my shade is little deeper. But when I bought 10, I felt I should have not because I still feel that this makes me look more paler. But after some time, it will settle into my skin. Uh, so my shade is 11, but here I'm using 10. And shade 11 is not easily available. It's almost out of stock. Moving on to concealer, Born This Way Concealer by Too Faced. Since I did do orange correcting around my mouth area, I wanted to conceal it a bit because if I don't, then it peeks through my foundation and I never wanted to go in with a second layer of foundation. So yes, I did went ahead with a concealer and you see the concealer blends in so well and it's a perfect, perfect shade for my skin. So I did went ahead uh, with a little bit of concealer on my eyes also to just to give a little base for my eye look. To set everything I went ahead with a loose powder. I'm using my Laura Mercier loose powder in translucent because I want to finish this powder as soon as possible. Yes, I have got some stunning powders recently but yes, I did went ahead with it and i really like the base today it was really set matte and i must say delhi is still hot and there are days when it feels comfortable but the day i was filming this look it was really hot moving on to some bronzer this is the newest edition of a bronzer into my collection again a stunning bronzer by my glam and i think it is from pose uh, category so yes again a stunning bronzer you can go heavy handed with it you can go light handed it's pigmented and it works well it blends well Moving on to some blush. So I'm using my Colorbar blush in rosy peach. I will mention down the shade in my description if I happen to say wrong shade. But yes, this blush is again absolute love and I've been using this blush constantly nowadays. Moving on to some highlighter. Oh my god, my pack highlighter. No highlighter can replace it. I feel into a high-end category but yes this is something which i absolutely love and i still want to buy two more shades from this whole highlighter range 
but this is the highlighter to definitely go for if you are confused which one to buy the mac one or this one go and buy this one you can absolutely skip the mac highlighters let's move on to our eyes so i went ahead with this sugar eyebrow arch arrival brow pencil my absolute favorite brow pencil but nowadays now it's so hot when i'm doing my brows i feel i do a little over on my brows or i end up putting a lot of product on my brows but i'm still okay with it till the time they don't look wonky uh, so yes if you feel it's wonky then just sorry for that but that's how it's been happening because it's very hot it's very sweaty and it gets really difficult when you have to really concentrate and make your brows and then you end up sweating on your forehead that's happening you can see it in the video itself so that is why my brows may look a little wonky but i felt it was still better eyeshadow palette i am using my my glam palette for today's look absolute stunning eyeshadow palette one of the palettes you should definitely try it is expensive but i feel it is up notch the quality is really really good and in drugstore and as an indian brand the shadows work absolutely uh, in comparison to the international eyeshadow palettes you end up using they're very close to them so if i have to really compare this palette to any high end at it has to be my tart toasted or bloom palette the shimmers the mattes they work so good and they work together so today i went in with this nice um olivey green look uh, with a little bit of smokiness or i would say a lot of smokiness is happening but whenever you will pick up this palette you will end up creating only smoky looks so those were the only two shadows i used and you see my eye look turned really well moving on to some eyeliner so i thought why put a usual shadow down below completely i went ahead with this green mile metallic eyeliner by sugar cosmetic as i said i'm obsessed with these liners and i just placed it on my lower lash line this is the newest technique i i as i said i just love playing my, with my eyeliners and eyeshadows nowadays and yes this a uh, technique really works absolutely wonderful on this eye look and for the putting a black eyeliner i went ahead with the same green and applied it all over my eyelids like the liner on the eyelid you can use these eyeliner as proper eye shadows also moving on i did place a little highlighter into my inner corners So you see how this eye look just turned from nothing to such a intense smoky look. And to finish off, I went ahead with this color bar scandalous eye kajal and I applied it all over my waterline. This is again one of my favorite shades to go for. To finish off the eyes let's move on to some interesting mascara so i went ahead with this mascara by l'oreal again a lovely mascara by l'oreal i did buy this pretty late but i have been using this mascara past four months and i absolutely love this one and i do use this mascara in combination with other mascaras of mine because If you combine your mascara with any other mascara you have, you get the best lashes. You really don't have to go in with falsies. To finish off, I went ahead with a lip liner by K Beauty. And this is the shade High Impact. To finish off, I'm wearing this Color Bar Sinful Matte lipstick in the shade I guess it is Sin. I will be leaving down the name of the lipstick in my description because I doubt it is sin because as I see it on the screen I am not remembering which shade I wore that day but yes this is the color bar sinful matte and yes this is the finished interesting smoky eye I hope you loved watching this interesting eye look with complete face I will be back here with some more interesting eye looks some more smokiness consider subscribing and following me on my instagram @pranzingik till then you take care and i will see you in my next one